so hi I am coming to you from outside and this feels really awkward because this is the first time that I have ever tried to film myself in the big wide world It felt like an appropriate day to film outside even though it's not the warmest because today is the two year anniversary of the death of one of my best friends and in honor of his memory just felt kind of right to be outdoors. And you know what, I think I might find something to prop you up on. Come on, let's go. I guess the biggest way that I feel like I don't fit in with the current society is that I really strongly feel like an industrial civilization that we're living in right now is really not the way forward. Um, and that it's doing way more harm than it's doing good. And I don't really talk about that too much because I came to that feeling through a really long process of discovering things, learning and growing, and then to just come out and say somebody who hasn't necessarily thought about that, it, it can often evoke a really strong reaction, but since the question was asked, and since everybody out there in the forum is the really awesome by and large, and everybody so far has answered this question really honestly. Um, I'm gonna go for it <laughs> and I really like nature and I always felt like I appreciated every creepy crawly living fluffy out there breathing wild animal more than most of the people around me so I decided really early on to be a zookeeper because I really wanted to work with wild animals in the zoo I really did a lot of research on animals for their enrichment and finding out what they need in the wild and that's sort of when I started really reading about animals out in the wild and seeing what kind of problems they had. I, You know you always kind of know that a species extinction is getting really out of hand, it is really out of hand. But to really read up on really concrete examples, hold on the geese are flying by and it's really awesome. When you start reading about animals out in the wild and start reading exactly what kind of problems are going on and how quickly their habitat's being destroyed, I think that there's two reactions. You can either go, oh wow, that's too bad, and move on with your life, or you can go, oh wow, that's too bad, what can I do about it? And the more you learn about what's going on and what we're doing to the planet, the less and less you can go, oh well, that's too bad, and move on with your life because it's really crazy and it's really hard I feel to have conversations that start with that because as soon as you acknowledge that there's a problem it runs so deep that it's really intimidating and really hard to talk about. I first really got a firm grasp of what, what the problem was from a book called Ishmael and if you have started to get like inklings that something is wrong I think that's a really good place to go because it ties together a lot of loose ends at least for me of I I kind of knew something was wrong and I didn't know how to formulate what what I thought was wrong and that book is a good starting point and that led me to other books by other authors and one of the strongest most factual most interesting books which answers the problem of what is wrong is by an author named Derek Jensen and his book is Endgame the problem of civilization his definition of a city is a place where people live that it only exists due to the importation of resources and of course any living structure that is based on the constant importation of resources is inherently unsustainable and what ends up happening is the people with the power to take the resources get the resources and the people who don't have the power to stop the resources being taken get screwed and generally we don't seem to be very good at thinking of the bigger picture uh, so that's kind of understandable but I feel like subconsciously you know you do acknowledge that things are really screwed up you can't just keep on living in a world where hundreds more species than usual are going extinct without having some kind 
resonance. I don't feel like we're that disconnected from the planet. Not yet. You know, what right do we have to screw things up for the future generations? I always believe that the planet's going to be fine. You know, no matter what we do, if we kill ourselves, the planet's going to recover. But I think the human species has a whole lot of potential, and I don't want to see the human species wipe itself out, particularly. So generally, I feel like the way that we're living at the moment, using so many resources, is not going to last. It can't last because we live on a finite planet. Surprise. <laughs> I'm going to do absolutely everything in my power to make sure that we stop using the planet the way that we do. I'm going to do everything in my power to bring humans back into the natural world.